Hey guys, Ravazin here, back with our answer with our Pokemon Rejuvenation. So in the last episode, we had a lot of things going on with the night market and stuff, right? And also, you remember the confrontation we had with the mask, with a masked person? Well, it turns out we had an encounter with two of them, in fact, whose name is Alice and Alan. And it seems they will be living with us because they're fascinated by us. I have them too. But anyway, it's been a long night, so I'm gonna be taking a sleep or taking a nap at my room. The back alley. Puff. You know, I gotta give it to you, Lavender. You have proved to me that actually. A lanky, okay, can run. Venom, what are you doing here? You just ran out of the apartment like they just announced some kind of middle school book fair. What are you doing here? I found this letter addressed to me inside of our mailbox. Huh. Okay, let's read out what's written here. My mother and I miss you dearly. As such, we have decided that we cannot live away from you in Huen anymore. For, for you to see, Lavender, you have sh shamed us in the worst possible way. You haven't re even realized it, have you? The room you are reading the letter in. This Laren, it's all fake. Can't see the truth? I pity you. Q is with us at the back alley. You weren't there for him. We are watching you. Make a sound and his sound will stop. Bring no one. A reminder, this is all your fault. Love mom and dad. What the hell? This is completely gibberish. It was inside of a red envelope, and the same kind Talon was given before he was attacked and turned to stone. Your account frightens me, though. After I finished reading, I tried to check the apartment, and I couldn't find anyone. I was going mad and ran out to confront the poor person who might have had you. But you said you saw me running out of the apartment. That's impossible. Because I made sure to check every room twice over before I... What the? Hey, what happened? I'm worried. I bet Melia's worried by now. L Venom, Lavender, you finally... Oh. What time is it? 10.45 a.m.? Ryzen, did Venom and Lavender get home last night? Well, that's a big no. I don't think so. Venom would have woken me up tell me she got home. I know she would have. Melia. I woke up 7.30 a.m. and noticed Venom has not returned home yet. I'm doing another run around the city for a later. I'll make sure to keep an eye out for Venom, Aaron. No, no, no. Oh, a uh, telephone rang? Uh, we better pick that up. Hello? No, this is Rodia's roommate. An incident? Where? The back alley. Okay, I'll let everyone know right away. What happened? Uh oh. No. No! Venom! Wait, why does Venom's face look a bit different? She did turn stone, it seems.
Melia, clear the way. Venom was with Lavender last night. But where is Lavender? Leave this to me. Q, Ryzen, please, please look for Lavender. Okay. Hey, be careful, you two. We will. Who's that? She's not anywhere. I I don't know what to do. I don't know where to look. Uh, I guess focus you. You're right. I have to focus. Lavender's counting on me. Whoa, that was a star after. What the? That thing has a piece of paper attached to it. Details on Lavender's whereabouts. Meet me at the subway platform via the station. We gotta go to the Grand Terminal Station. Are you kidding me? You're gonna go there alone? Damn this guy. Whoa, the bridge has been fixed? Okay. Well, that's news to me. Wait, I need to... The Grand Terminal. So where exactly is the Grand Terminal though? Look for Lavender. I don't know. Do I go south here? Over here. I'm sorry, I'm I'm wait a minute. There's a there's a path over here. Oh I don't think I can go there. Okay. Did I get it right? Where exactly do I need to go? Or maybe I have to go from here? No, this one is locked. I think I'm being... I think I'm a tad bit confused over here. The Grand Terminal, huh? I don't know where the Grand Terminal is, so... Ah... Why doesn't the questline say anything about where to go? This is so confusing. Okay, it seems I found something. It's right next to over here. Next to our lodging. This one. Wait a minute. Excuse me, but where exactly is... Wait, what's over here? <gasps> over here. Stop. Stop right there. Who Who are you? Where is Lavender? Who I am isn't important. Just listen to me. I found Lavender earlier by the riverbank near the waste treatment site entrance. I took her and kept her hidden in the black in the night market until she was semi-conscious again. You just left her at the night market? Anywhere could have been safer. Would you just freaking relax? Do you think I would leave her there alone? Don't be stupid. She's being guarded by one of my own. 
and for the record, the param paramedics are already on their way to her. So, how come you didn't write this on write this down on the note, huh? Because I wanted this was the way I was instructed to do this. The next train goes to night market. Better catch it. Uh, right. Come on, Ryzen. The night market. So, where exactly do I... Ah, uh, found her. Lavender. It's just as the person said. There was a Pokemon guarding her when I got here. Cough, cough. Her asthma is acting off. Don't worry, I'll... I have your asthma pump on me always. There, that should help a bit. She's going to be okay. But we need to wait for the param paramedics to arrive. Lavender? Okay. Lavender has been admitted to the Hospital of Hope. As for Melia, she's there too, but she's already better and has been released. And Venom? Right. All we can do is wait. The doorbell. Ryzen, could you get that please? Yeah, sure. Who is it? It's... It's Elita. Hello? Wait. Um, this is really awkward, but... Can we talk for a bit? Thanks for hearing me out. First, I want to say that I was the one who told you about Lavender's location. That was you? Yeah. Why didn't you just bring her to the hospital then? Something really bad could have happened to her. I told you I had her guarded by my Pokemon. And like I told you before, I did what I did. Because that was what I was instructed to do so. By whom? By someone called the Puppet Master. There's that name again. You heard of him? From two annoying brats, yes. They live with us, actually. Interesting. So, who is this Purple Master? What does he want? And where is he located? One question at a time, dumbass. You think I'm a machine or something? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I understand you all have a lot of questions, so ask away. Uh, okay. I don't know who he is, necessarily. But I, and this is going to sound crazy, but I saw him in a dream once. He spoke, we spoke for a bit, and we started giving a, he started giving me a task. I don't know why I decided to even entertain a dream, but I did, and they gave me results. Some involved in being a certain place at a certain time, and others were a bit more dangerous. The most dangerous task I was given was drawing weird symbols on a piece of paper and leaving it in the underground storage area. That has to be been the piece of paper Risa found in the underground. Those symbols turned out to be a phone number once we decrypted it. And that's what started the huge thing at the mall. Oh, so that's what that was about. Don't sound so nonchalant about that. That paper caused a lot of problems for a lot of people. Especially me, now that I have two regrets to take care of. Yeah, well, how the hell am I supposed to know, uh, supposed to know things would end up like that badly? The other task only gave minor results, nothing crazy like that. I understand you all have a lot of questions. So what was that flyer? I understand that I'm different from before, Ryzen. And what just happened was very concerned. But I want to ask this in a way that doesn't cause me extreme discomfort. So just drop it. I understand. Alright. What about Erin? You know about her? 
Well then, that's expected. What about her? Well, she's been looking for you this entire time. I know she is. I've been avoiding her deliberately. But why? Because ever since I woke up, these people won't give me space. Ah, so I'm sorry. You better be. Well, I just... I just felt murdered by her and the elders. And I hate feeling like I'm some dog kept under a leash. Erin's a good person and she's a friend. But I needed, I needed to get away. That's that. I understand you all have a lot of questions. Okay, the questioning. Right, so let's set the questions aside for now. I came here because I saw Venom's fate. She was my friend. One rising to meet the puppet master with me. There is a rumor going around in the city that if you can meet the puppet master, he can answer any question. So if you want answers on who did this to Venom and the others, then we can ask him. How are you going to meet him? I have only ever seen him in dreams, so I am not sure exactly how, but I want to work together with Ryzen to get to the bottom of all this. Just Ryzen. I really mean no offense by that, but I get it. Technically, we are strangers to you. And you and Ryzen have a history together. I have a word of advice. But a word of advice, make connections in the best way to reach the top. And we have two people in this apartment that may be able to help you. So where are they now? Past the balcony for the door to the right. Thank you. We should go, Ryzen. Well, I guess we should just order a pizza for dinner. That sounds good. Really? Pizza for dinner at a time like this? Ah, you guys are Alice and Alan? Ah, but we have been expecting you. Ryzen and Alita, it's good to see both of you in good health. You know my name? But of course, the puppet master said this exact meeting would happen. And this is why? Our fate within him is une undefeated. So, okay, so how do we meet him then? The Pippin Master is always with us wherever we go. But the re way to reach him is truly unbelievable. It's the truth. The Pippin Master is in state of mind. All you must do is simply call out to him. And how exactly do we do that? That's the entire point of this conversation. Okay. If you don't start talking, said, start making sense in 10 seconds, I swear to my mom. Perhaps the direct approach is most appropriate with this one. Quiet. Listen, all you need to do is, is dream a dream so grand it becomes a nightmare. That's square enough for you? That legible? Does that tickle your fancy? No. To put my sister's words more clearly, you must go to sleep and have a nightmare. That's, and uh, that is all there is to it. But the type of dream you we have are completely random. How exactly are you supposed to have a nightmare on a whim? With this, a nightmare medallion? What the? That's a nightmare medallion. A woman at the night market sells these. Putting one underneath your pillow while you sleep is guaranteed to in induce your cranium with spooky images. This is the prime way to meet with our master. You understand now? This better work. Ryzen, I'm going back to my hideout. Let's try this out. If it doesn't work, well, the twins over there better make find a new address. She's a rude cucumber. Yeah, I totally agree. What the heck happened to Elita? So, what do I do now? Do I just have a nightmare now? Maybe. I better save the game. Here we go. But, ho! Oh. Welcome, welcome, the Puppet Master's Levis abode. Congratulations, you have been accepted into his generous arms. And now, the game shall begin. 
But what is a game without players? Come forward, player two. Player two? Oh, I guess it worked then. Damn. Old friends, new revelations. That is what the game's about. Now then, I can imagine you two have a lot of catching up with. But one thing is certain, you wish to gain company with the Puppet Master. And if so, then your objective is this. The Puppet Master only speaks to the most esteemed guests. Win your way to the top and retrieve the elevator pass. Only then shall you gain access to the Puppet Master's theater. Win your way. We wish you the very best wishes. And good fortune. May our journey bear the juiciest of fruits. You know, Ryzen, I really didn't want to see you, I uh, wanted you to see me like this. But if this is the price to pay for answers, then I guess I'm fine with the embarrassment. Wait, you're embarrassed? Of course I'm embarrassed. The last time we were together, I royally messed up and got myself in a bad spot. And then I ran out, ran my mouth. I can't bear to be in the same room with anyone. Look, I know, I know you must have questions, but now isn't the time for them. We both came for answer from the puppet master, right? Let's work together and find the sky. All right. Fight my way through, huh? All right, let's battle. No, I mean drum beating. Oh, it's that seriously hard. Toxicity. Spirit tomb. Sucker punch. Are you kidding me right now? It's using shift gear, only shift gear. Nice. I got puppet points? What does that mean? Oh well, whatever. Let me quickly heal up. Alright. Oh my- OMG, Ryzen, is that you again? Patty? Yeah, like, I'm surprised too. There was this, uh, there I was watching a season 17 of Desperate Girls when I passed out suddenly. When I came around, I was standing here and working in the fancy place. They gave me this mask to put on, but the girl I, a uh, girl, I just did my makeup. So yeah, I guess I work here. Wonder what benefits they got. Yeah. Okay. I know, right? No. Then be on your way then. Ah, the steam guests have arrived at my casino. Is this the puppet master everyone's talking about? I'm quite flattered at the thought, but no, I'm not him. Razin and I have been have been having quite uh, quite a few talks as of late, but. They are unable, they were unable to figure out my identity. That's fine. That just means that this is the one and only path. Let me reveal who I really am. You are the Zeta guy from Team Zen? That I am. I have torn my head to a new master though. I'm here to let you all know in a little secret. 
The pass you need for the elevator is in the chest behind me. Let me guess, opening it is a real pain. Correct. Let a little pepper lady. This chest only opens if you have 1 million pocket points from the casino. 1 million? How are we supposed to acquire that many? This is extremely honor, honor to gain the company of the puppet master. Every single person in this room, home, is fighting for the chance to see him. You are, you two are no different. Win and get to, get to the puppet master. That's the goal. Until then, sayonara. This is a nightmare. Not only we are dealing with some magnetic puppet guy, but we have Team Zen to deal with. As well, I think. Hey, what's up, dude? Karen, can you sponsor us? Uh, all right, I'll do it. Mm, I'll match your reward by times five. Yeah, that worked. We won't hit our goal, but. It's a lot of coins. Hey, head over to the stage whenever you guys are ready. A Simitseer. How? Soul Rock. Even a Team Zen Zerg is here? I guess anyone who can sleep can visit this world. That's what the lady in the mask said at the least. Okay. You see that man over there? I hear he's uh, very wealthy. He'll sponsor people for the likes of exorbitant amount of cash. You want those poet coins? Quickly, you will want to talk to him. Well, can you move out of the way? We are trying to get past. I I'm in the way, but it looks like I am. We'll move out in the way, but I'm not in a winning streak on this machine. Tell you what, I lost something very valuable in to me in a bet I made here. If you want, can somehow get backstage and steal it back for me, then I'll move. You're a sneezely disgusting person. Fine. Let's find a way to backstage. Okay. How do I know how many puppet points do I have? The backstage. I don't know. Well, what do I do then? Wait a minute. The puppet master wants to ensure the perfect visit. If you have any requests, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh my gosh! Hey, Ryzen! You have got- you're here to fight the puppet master and ask him question too, right? Ryzen, who is this chick? You don't know who I am? That's... That's fast fast, sister. I'm Risa Raider. Pop star, part-time model, and part-time actor. Part-time everything, really? So, how do you guys intend to get all those 1 million puppet coins? 
We have no idea, we'll probably just have to win slots and then convert those coins into puppet coins? Oh, that will take way too long, I have a better way. Oh, yeah, in the room to the right, there is a battle arena set up. Participants can battle for a huge amount of coins. Not only that, but you can find sponsors in the casino to fight humongous bets on your performance. Do that and getting 1 million puppet coins is going to be easy. That's actually super useful. Thanks, Lisa. No problem. Hope you guys can make it. The Barrel Arena. Rodia, I just have to keep on moving. This is the Rodia woman you guys were staying with. This one's been. This one has been staying with us for a couple of weeks. Huh. She, like everyone else, has come to this world for a chance to speak with the puppet master. But she could never reach the top, and thus her mind has been completely warped. Is this why some people here are speaking complete gibberish? That's correct. Newcomers have the advantage of being still insane. But overexposure to this realm has negative consequences on one's sight. Eventually, they turn out to be like her. Wait a minute, does that mean she is the one she is known who the puppet master was for some time then? Why'd she act like she had no idea who that guy was? Hmm, that's pretty suspicious. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else. This is the battle arena. I better save the game. Rules? The rules of the game are simple. The, the representative is located in the center. You'll battle one of them randomly. You will each use three Pokemon. You must be successful to defeat your opponent without winding out. Fail to defeat your opponent will result in losing of your puppet points. You will win number of points based off the amount you bet. The bet can be multiplied depending on and uh, depending on if you have a sponsor. A sponsor? That's correct. You may find a sponsor anywhere. You will be notified when you find one. Right. Finding a sponsor might be the fastest way to rack up points here. Else we gotta help uh, gotta be playing and gambling for weeks to come. Huh. How will I know I have a sponsor though? Wait, what? Okay, I know we have to find a sponsor. Manor inside a nightmare? Why does this place even exist? Okay. Ah! I guess we are here? Made out of coins and so full of coins. Okay. Okay, we unlock the door. Ah, there was there was a lazy worker. I can't believe it. And this worker is walking around like they're working. When they are not. Okay. Wait, you are calling me lazy? That is not true. You are no longer welcome here. Security really stab him? Whoa. Okay, I guess we are fighting him. Alright. Talon Flame using Roar, huh? Fake out. Close combat. Well done. Next up is Camera. I'm gonna need. Let's see. Obstagon. I bet you're a... Uh... What? Payback. 
using yawn. I knew it. Alright. Talon Flame. Reuse Brave Bird. Not again. Again. Oops. Okay, well, I got 500 pocket points again. Looks like I failed. Bye bye. Let me be lazy. As a trade, I'll leave the door open, leading to the backstage. There are some awesome treats in that arena. Awesome treats in there. Hey, guess we got access to the back rooms or something? I think I remember seeing that somewhere in the pool room. The pool room. Okay. Ah, uh, I feel like it's been a long episode. So I think I'm gonna end this episode off right here and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, bye bye!